Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Lambo Calrissian here and because the Kuga nuclear kick video was so well accepted and we're kind of done doing boring writers right now, I've decided let's go over Kuga content for the next couple of weeks and figure out where that is and how well you guys receive it because after all who doesn't want to talk about Heisei's nuclear warhead. So starting these video series off the first thing we're going to do is talk about the Arco, Kuga's transformation device. Now the belt by itself was created by the Linto tribe to be used as a defense against the battle loving Gurongi tribe. I hope I pronounced that correctly. You guys will let me know if I said it wrong in the comment section below, but I'm gonna say Gurongi until somebody corrects me. In the series, only two people have been shown using the Arco, the ancient Lento tribe member Riku and the show's protagonist Yusuke Godai. You can also count Yusuke Onodera, who used it in the alternate world in Comrade Decade, but that's another topic for a future video. Putting on the belt, causes it to fuse into the body and can be summoned around the waist of Yusuke or any user at any time he chooses in order to transform. The most crucial part of the belt is the stone embedded in the buckle of the Arco, serving as Kuga's main source of power, the Amadam, Adam. give me a sec, Amadam, a Amadam, I'm sticking with Amadam. So the Amadam is not only a source of power, it also has the ability to extend the lifespan of a person in possession of it. According to the Lento scriptures in the series, the Amadam is said to be powered by the user's will and will destroy any weak user bearing its power. Because of the unfair stipulation of the stone, the Oracle acts as a stabilizer for the power of it, allowing the user to use the power and prevent them from going insane in the membrane because of it. One thing to note about the Amadam is that it is seen to change colors whenever Kuga assumes one of his many forms while in battle. It'll show orange when it's growing form, default mighty is red, dragon being blue, pegasus form being green, titan being purple, rising being yellow, and ultimate being black. When a person is using the Arkle, they can have the access to over 11 different forms with each of these forms unlocking being adjacent with how well that person trains. The more you train, the more skills you activate. And the more skills you activate, the stronger you have to master them. The more you master, the more you can have access to other forms. What we've seen in the Comrade Kuga series shows us that the growing form is the weakest form to have while the ultimate form is, well, the ultimate form, the strongest form that you can access with it that can easily have enough power to give you the ability to destroy the world. Yeah, it's fucking pretty insane. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. There's pretty much nothing else to be said about the Arkle and the Amadam. You just put the Amadam in the Arkle and you become one of the most overpowered writers in common Rider franchise history. It's f insane how strong this dude is but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here if you guys have any questions or any concerns or you guys just want to add your two cents in and just let me know if i'm missing some information on it don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section below and also in the comment section below let me know how do you guys feel about the article is it something that you like that you love is kuga overpowered just let me know how you feel about all that stuff in that great comment section below if you guys are brand new here and you guys really like this video don't hesitate to subscribe for more common writer weekly goodness don't forget to give this video a like and if you guys want to have any conversations about common writer or super sentai or any toku stuff don't hesitate to follow me on twitter and reddit links for both of those are in the description below i'm lambo calrissian reminding you guys to keep calm and toku on